number six, I think. My Shih Tzu is apparently just Shih Tzu'd out on me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, something beyond all that other stuff that I've shown you that I, uh, I really don't play much of uh, that kind of stuff these days because I just like to, to fiddle around and fool around with some other types of chords. Um, I'll give you some music theory here. Um, there are uh, essentially just a few types of chords. Um, and then you, you read these chord charts and there's a million different ways to play them, a uh, million different types of chords, and it's just, just really confusing. Uh, so this is a, a Joe Pass I, I way of thinking about chords, which you know I've seen uh, when I used to read Guitar Player Magazine back in 1993. Uh, you know, I remember Trey Anastasio uh, uh, echoing kind of the same kind of thing. Um, I think he learned it from, from Joe Pass too, which is the, this is a, an easy way to think of chords in terms of a major chord. Which is uh, constructed of a, um, you know, one, a five, and a three. step, um, then it becomes minor, so this note becomes that, and it becomes minor. Now if you count, um, again, do re mi fa so la ti do, uh, if you count up uh, and get to the seven, note number seven, the one right before you get to the next octave, um, something I haven't addressed yet, if you take that down a half a step, um, that becomes a, uh, a dominant chord, um, and it's you'll hear that in pretty much any music, but it's it, it kind of replaces the major chord um, in uh, as a five chord in jazz music. Um, I mean, not not to get too technical, uh, but in uh, in jazz music, you'll often hear the seventh played um, as the as the root. Um, as the main chord, the one chord, I should say. So, so if we're in A, this is kind of a pop major chord. We're gonna go ahead and add the seventh note to it. Kind of got a little bit of a jazzy feel to it. Yeah, and another thing I want to say: the reason it sounds so bad. It's not that my guitar is out of tune, it's just that any guitar that's in tune, if you if you put multiple notes on top of each other, it's going to sound bad. So let, let's just get this clear right now. Don't play six notes. You know, you're not going to go up to a piano and then play, you know, take six fingers, you know, and then play a chord. It, it's not going to sound good. So I try and play three or four note chords. Um, and so like in the instance of this, this is a really common uh, jazz chord. Go ahead and Google a, uh, a major seventh, uh, A major seventh chord, and this is probably what you're gonna find. It starts on the fifth fret with your index finger. Um, just Google it, I'm not gonna waste the time going, you know, explain every little finger positioning on it, but I'm not playing. That's muted, and that's muted. So, you know, when they show the little X next to it on the chord, um, that's what it means. So, uh, three or four note chords, way to go. Uh, do not play six note chords. So, this is the one, major seven. Uh, the two. usually going to be a minor 7 chord. So instead of our 6 note horrible sounding bar chord, uh, we're going to take a couple strings out of there. Um, and a, a minor chord 
is always going to have a, uh, it's what's called minor 7. And it has a flat 7 in it, meaning you take that 7th note, which would be, where would it be on this? It would be, uh, so instead of this 7th this note being this, it comes down a half step. So that is what makes uh, chords dominant. Um, you can play the one as a dominant chord too, if you want. Um, this is completely up to you. So, uh, dominant one chord um, would be this. And what I do, I take that note out of there entirely, and I just play it like this, three note chord. So this is this is a typical Joe Pass chord right here. Uh, index finger on the fifth fret, uh, mute the the next string number two, third string. Um, also the 5th fret, um, and the uh, uh, index middle finger here, and then the uh, ring finger is on the 6th string. Uh, um, okay. I'm going to start over with this one. Uh, index finger, 5th fret, mute the next string, next string, also 5th fret using your middle finger, and then the 6th fret using your ring finger, so you obviously you can hear there's some tension there. Um, that's kind of that's kind of the point is that uh, you you don't want your music to sound too um, too resolved. You know you, you want it to resolve to somewhere. So every note is building up uh, you know uh, you know tension release release tension release tension. Um, it, it works the same thing in literature, it works the same thing in artwork, architecture, everything. Um, you know, if everything is... Then that, that can be pretty boring. Um, so, once you play music a little bit longer, you'll notice that these dominant chords, then adding colors onto them, just sounds a lot more interesting. If, you know, so, uh, all right, I had to stop that there for a second because I uh, started talking about augmented chords. Um, that was the other type.